All right, thanks everybody for staying for the very end. Again, no laughs guaranteed, but this is a total experiment, so you are our guinea pigs. This is the first ever GitOps comedy show, so welcome. Thanks for staying. All right. <laughs> Tip your waitress. Yes. All right, so oop, my name is Tamo Nakahara. I run developer experience at Weaveworks. I have my trusted sidekick, Sebastian, here, uh, who's also at Weaveworks. And I was really lucky that I invited uh, Christian Hernandez from Red Hat, as well as Chris Short. But Chris Short is now short on time and yes. <laughs> off to <laughs> record a radio show in three minutes. So yes. uh, the good our news first... for you is that Chris Short was the funny one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was the funny one. So that's why we need to find out. Yes, yeah, so first quiz question is, Christian, are you doubly as funny, half as funny, or 0.233 as funny? As I am I'm a, I'm all fractionally, fractionally funny. So. Yes. He impersonates funny. Not, not as, I don't have as, as nice a voice as he does, but yes. I, I try. So. No one, no one. No, no one has the radio voice of Chris Short. Sure. So. <laughs> um, okay, so quick plug though, hopefully you guys saw the cards. Uh, for us, it's very, very exciting. Please join us next week on October 20th on this GitOps one-stop shop event where you will see all these amazing companies show how they offer GitOps to uh, their enterprise customers. So if any of you are thinking to start uh, working with GitOps and want to use one of these platforms, please join us. The website is gitopsdays.com, same one that uh, May was talking about as our various uh, talks on GitOps, GitOps Days. So we just put it on the same site. So please join us for that next Wednesday. Um, all right, so as I mentioned, this is all participatory, so hopefully if you use Twitter, check out our brand new handle, which is at GitOps Comedy. So this is all experiment. We'll see if this so, works. So as I... Interactive, by the way. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry? Interactive, so we yes. really do want you to go <laughs> yes. and pull up the account. Yes, so. for those of you online, for those of you here, um, hopefully you can see the polls that are trusted uh, assistant Scott over there will be um, tweeting out at the right time. So at that time, like put in your votes and then we'll see the results and see if this works. We're not kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> These are the tweets, people. Yeah. For some reason, they seem to be distrusting that people will tweet, but uh, yeah. I understand not everybody's on Twitter, but we'll try this out. Um, all right, so we're going to do an easy one. And right. maybe Christian, do you yes. want to read off? So we're gonna do an easy one. Um, what is GitOps? Yeah, what is GitOps? So first choice, a compliant way to do operations that uses Git for version control with an audit history. All right. And Number two. Two, um, a way to minimize downtime because a Git repo is a single source of truth for changes and rollbacks. Number three, a way to automate manual tasks that increase velocity. Or four, all of the above. All of the above, yeah, sometimes. That's, that was my favorite answer in college. It got me through college. Yes. It's all of the above. It's so to give you some time, barely. first of all, <laughs> does everybody see the tweet? Did Scott get the tweet out? Yes, excellent. Everybody's voting rapidly. All right, voting. All voting. right, and Christian and Sebastian, any thoughts? Oh, why do we not have a choice for like, a declarative source of pain. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, the fourth one was all of the above and much, much more. Yeah, so, okay, there you go. With that, we're going to see if this actually works. And we'll slide over. Is more really an option? Can I? Yeah. More is an option. Yeah. Yes. More is an option. <laughs> Always an option. I can't find my mouse. Oh my God, I'm going to need the tech help because my mouse is invisible. You just got to shake the finger. We that's what I do when I get nervous. I just... <laughs> you need that. Seriously, it is not there. Yes. Those look a little. Okay, well, we're going to have to trust. Even the shake the finger. Wait, okay, Scott, yell out. What are the poll results? Okay, uh, the poll results. Oh, we have a mic. I don't need to shout it. Uh, the, <laughs> the poll, uh, shout out uh, metaphorically. Okay, so the poll results are ops with Git version control, 9.1%. Well, just tell us the top one. What's the top top one? Oh, the top one is is all of the above. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, ninety yeah. ninety point nine percent. Well, I was going to build excellent. up to that, but okay. There you go. See, and then all right. The and that's how many see, votes you did? Congratulations on that. Um, so one thing we definitely want to mention, as has been mentioned many times today, um, you know, we are. Um, really committed to GitOps, obviously that's why we're here. Um, and we think it's really, really important that there is a CNCF official entity out there that kind of 
governs those definitions and those principles. So we're so excited that um, they've been published and kind of official. So thanks to the hard work of the many members and the chairs, especially including people like Dan and Scott working in the GitOps working group. So please check that mm -hmm. out. All right. I'm so here hopefully... because they're paying me. Sorry? I'm here because they're paying me. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. And Ooh, we got can't... one laugh. I think there I mean, you like got a laugh. Laughs, That's right? the first one I've ever intentionally gotten. Yeah. I'm mostly unintentionally funny. Yes. Uh, all right. So hopefully you got the hang of this. So um, oh, we are very lucky that um, many of you might know Javeri Khan, who is definitely one of the top GitOps practitioners out there um, and uh, currently works at Snowflake and has done GitOps at previous companies. So Javeri very kindly has done these pre recorded bits that will be part of our quiz. So I'll do a quick bio. Um, and I'll let you know that before we got up here, Tim Out, who's a Star Trek fan, wanted me to do the con. Con. That's right. I refuse because con. you get off yes. con. And I... Javeria pronounces the name Han. Um, yes. Hi, everyone. I'm Javeria Han. I'm a senior platform engineer here at Snowflake. Um, I've been in this uh, infrastructure domain for the past seven years and specifically with Kubernetes for the past four. I've been a part of different infrastructure teams that have spanned over startups and enterprise on-prem and also multi-cloud at the moment. Um, I mainly have experience managing high volume deployments and supporting infrastructure buildup with a special focus on reliability and automating everything related to GitOps to aid our developer productivity. Uh, in my current position right now, um, I support the building and maintaining of our container platform here at Snowflake, um, which comprises a multi-cloud Kubernetes cluster environment. Excellent. So we are in very good hands. So thank you to Javeria for providing some of these um, actual real world experiences and thoughts that come from that. All right. So our next real question is, um, what ideal, what are uh, ideal environments for GitOps? Christian. So uh, everywhere, every environment, everything. You can okay. use GitOps for everything. Just everything. I give yes. my dog. That's or, right. <laughs> get, get up to my bathroom with a there bidet. You do. It's true. As so, May was uh, actually saying, some people say they want to start get opsing all the things. Yeah, get opsing all the things, exactly. Get ops is only for production. Take time to set up and use it. Uh, number three would be get ops is only for test, dev, staging. You don't want to scale it. And then uh, number four, get ops is for home tinkering. I, I, I can choose any one of these, but I definitely use it for home tinkering. Yes. <laughs> or I guess it's for only. Um, all right, so hopefully you've started voting. You start you've seen your vote. the poll from I Scott. Think, I think of all the missing options that we could have had. Get ops for fun. All right, those of you online and here. All right, I think that's a good enough time. So, Scott, what's the top vote? Okay, well, uh, right now we have, hang on, hang on, let me just refresh this. We have nine votes. Oh, Let's let people catch up a little bit. Last time. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to my say bad, how my many bad. votes. Okay, okay, 23 votes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you forgot to refresh, that's what it is. Eventual consistency, okay. That's right. Um, yeah, so... You had some uh, drift. The... It's 250 votes, right? <laughs> right. Come on, everybody. Okay, it's, we, we're, we got this, we got this. Okay, so uh, top vote right now is everywhere. Everywhere. 91.3%. So and then hopefully... home tinkering only, 8.7%. Oh, God, you guys are so smart. Yes. Got some trolls. Got some trolls in here. The answers are not obvious at all. <laughs> We've got, you know. All right. So, yes, hopefully you saw Doing that. Uh, again, and as we go a little bit more into these details, um, it's not that there's a right or wrong answer. These are sort of the experiences that Javeria has. So don't feel bad or feel like it's focused in a particular way. But yes, for this one, still fairly broad and GitOps all the things. All right. So, uh, oh, yes, and Javeri is going to share a little bit from actual experience. So in all of my experiences, we've used GitOps for staging and dev and for production environments uh, and certain tools like Flux, uh, they're not only easy to set up, so they are ideal for test or frequently updated environments, but they are also scalable enough for production use cases. Um, for example, Argo CD and Flux um, have first class support for multi tenancy, and they are also provide a host of security features for production environments. So, in a nutshell, um, GitOps can be used everywhere. Excellent. I don't, I don't know which Javeria I'm supposed to be looking at. Yeah, I don't know. There's a little duality there. Well, Javeria is everywhere. 
That's right. Just like GetOps. <laughs> In all the things. I'm, all right, I'm more gonna, scared by that than by the GitOps. We're, we're going to yeah. dig a little bit deeper now. So, um, so if you need to test clusters that are spun up and down regularly and need frequent updates for application changes, what GitOps tools might you use? So this is a little bit trick question because oh, trick we're going to have to try to guess what Javeria did. Um, so uh, one, Christian. Flux notification server to update PRs with deployment results. Or? Argo CD and YAML files in a single repo. Or? Or you can use Flux and Helm customized single repos. Or? Or, again, my favorite answer, got me through college, all of the above. Which is possible. Which we'll is, see. It, is, it is possible, yes, I right. really did write an answer to this question that you didn't put in there. I just read Bash. You just bash. Like That's everything. Right. Yes. Until, why, until why Luke, not? right? Right. So <laughs> while we're waiting for the votes to come in, uh, there are people who do Thank Bash. You. What would be some... Me? <laughs> I'm not joking. What would be some uh, things that might not work out, maybe? At scale or whatever. I don't like know, up until recently, the, there was a bunch of bash in Kubernetes, right? In those, in those yeah. static pods. What's wrong with that? Yeah, what's, <laughs> what could ever awesome. go wrong with a bunch of yeah. bash scripts? Yeah. Again, it's all yeah. use cases, right? So people have different. Um, all right, Scott, how is it looking? Don't say the number, because it's in the hundreds. I will not say the number. <laughs> um, also, I was about 10 seconds late, so that was my bad. Uh, so uh -oh. let's give everyone just another moment. Wait, you're saying you didn't Wait, tweet? 19 seconds? 19 votes. Oh, 19 votes. No, okay, we got 19 votes. We got 19 votes. So you weren't paying attention. I was basically... I'm not interesting enough to <laughs> I feel like I'm in middle school again. I'm crushed. <laughs> Sebastian. Okay. They wouldn't let me on stage in middle school. <laughs> yeah, For okay, very cool. good reasons. Various reasons. All right, well then, uh, you know, we have um, what 19 is the top vote? solid votes. Uh, let's say 20 votes. Okay, top vote. Ooh, okay, divergence. Uh, top vote is, it is all of the above, but not by a 90 plus percent margin, ah. only by 52 percent. Oh. All right. What was the second? Second, second vote is, a second highest vote is 21 percent, and that is Argo CD and YAML files. Yeah, interesting. Well, again, this was uh, just what Javeri has done, so why don't we hear what Javeri has to say? who actually uses all kinds of technologies and tools, not just one. So in my specific experience for these kinds of environments, I've used Flux with a combination of Helm or Customize and with um, small single repositories because they're obviously test clusters. Uh, the reason being um, that as Kubernetes is getting more and more widely adopted, we're seeing many companies adopting a development lifecycle that allows developers to spin up these test or ephemeral clusters on demand and use them for testing their applications right from the start. Uh, this is great because developers get to test how their applications will behave in a containerized environment that is as close as possible to the production one. But in my opinion, the biggest benefit GitOps tools offer here are automating the update cycle and cutting down the time it takes to get new changes on these test clusters. Uh, now, since these are frequently deployed and destroyed clusters, you want something that is quick and easy to set up every time. And I think Flux offers this simplicity and with just a few steps, uh, you can have a GitOps-based workflow set up ready for your test environment. Uh, this installation is as easy as deploying any other typical pod in your cluster. Um, but then generally, I would say the most useful feature for these kinds of environments is the automatic image pool feature that Flux has. So. Basically, it not only watches the manifest in your repo, Just, yeah. but the automatic image pull feature will deploy new application changes as soon as it sees these new images in your registry. So you don't have to even do any changes or any um, pushes for just that specific uh, change set as well. Cool. cool. Well, I think so by much. now you guys are all probably wondering why Javeri is not up here trying to tell the jokes. Because <laughs> this, she did write out a bunch of jokes for us. She's, she's a planner, but I forgot them all because I have no working memory. Yes. So we that. prepared plenty of extra ones. If you're interested in following up with us, we're happy to chat with you about more best practices and such. But given the time constraints, we'll skip ahead and just thank you Oops, for coming. Uh, we really appreciate it. Again, um, come to our October 20th event. And Christian and uh, Chris are always on every Thursday, right? Every other Thursday. Every other I Thursday. I do now. Twitch. We're on Twitch primarily, but you can also catch us on YouTube. Yes. Um, Get Ops Guide to the Galaxy. Um, I also love this show. Admission. I named my youngest child Zaphod, and 
that, that you can a huge <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide fan, yeah. and uh, I consider it equal to the Bible in many respects. <laughs> and my next question was, are you, why are you guys still here? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's that. Realize that there's so alcohol that, out we will there. End. Thank lobby. you for coming to our Get Up Comedy Show. Much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.